Hello everyone, welcome to Other Levels. In this video, you will continue learning how you can create this school management dashboard using Microsoft Excel. So let's complete it. Welcome to other levels. These are the color codes used in the design and the font type are Forte and Abadi. All the elements and images used in this dashboard are not from sources outside Excel, but rather from the Excel library. You can get all our templates fully customizable by visiting our online store. We will start by creating the examination result graph in a creative way. Some of you wondered, he thought that it was an image or that it was not interactive, but I will show you how to create it, as it is very simple to implement and only needs two charts, a background, texts, and finally a rounded rectangle. In the first chart, we will remove all the elements and start adding color to each exam result. Now we want to add a background to the chart to show the remaining percentage to reach 100% and let it be light gray. To change the usual rectangular shape in the chart, we will insert a rounded rectangle on top of it, to give us rounded edges on both sides.
By making the outlines thick, and the same color as the white dashboard background, Now we include the second chart, and to give us the circular shape at the end of the columns for each test result, we need to add the data label at the outside end. The trick here is that the numbers are in white and change the text box shape to a circular shape with the addition of a shadow to highlight it. Finally, we will add some text boxes and connect them with the correct values in the database. The following is a simple donut chart, but it is beautiful by the consistency of the green color gradation.
We have reached the most complicated chart in this dashboard, which is for students' enrollment. At the outset, I would like to explain to you the purpose of the chart. It shows us the number of students registered during the past years and forecasts for the total students in the coming years. The original data was in a two-column showing student actual and expected numbers during years. But we made modifications and additions to the data table to give us the final shape of the chart. As you can see here that the table now contains seven columns. We will now insert a combine chart and you will see the use of each of them. As you can see, the combined charts all contain lines. The data that will show the total number of students will need two charts, one line chart and the other will be area chart, so we will change one of them to an area chart by select it then right click and choose change the chart type. Now we are adjusting the line chart for the expected numbers in the coming years. We will hide it temporarily so that we can choose and then modify the line chart of the actual settings because it is under it and I cannot click on it. Now we re-show the line chart again. Now we add the circular shape at its current year value. The trick here is that the numbers are in white and the marks we outline in a circular shape with the addition of a shadow to make it stand out. Now we hide the rest of the circles at the bottom and add a background to the chart.
We will change the shape of the columns and make the rounded edges. But not all of them are the same color, as the least number of study hours will be shown darker. We will add an aesthetic appearance here, which is to insert three grid lines and hide three numbers from the axes. The last part, the important one, which is to make the data and pictures of the events change according to a specific choice. First, we will build a photo frame.
We will include a picture inside it so that you can see the frame clearly. Here I will repeat what was done previously. We have a table showing the number, date, and name of the events. We will insert a table for this data and will extract a pivot table from it. Then we show all the data under each other. Then insert a slicer, which we will use to change between the event numbers. Now we add two text boxes and connect them with the date and the name of the events. It's time to insert the pictures on a separate sheet tab. Taking into account that each picture is completely inside a cell. We will put names for each image only for reference. Make sure the name does not contain spaces. Now we copy the name of each image and paste it in the cell name field and press enter. Thus, the name of the cell was changed, as you can see. We will copy the names that have been added to the cells that contain the pictures of the events, 
and add the numbers of the events next to them so that when we choose the number from the slicer it reflects the name next to the number in a cell. We will add it at the bottom in the purple cell. To do this, we'll use the VLOOKUP formula. Now we will press Ctrl plus F3 to open the Define Name menu. Add a name for the data range. In the Cell Range option, type in Direct, and then select the cell in which the equation has been added, then press OK. Now click on the image and write in the formula bar the data range and then press enter. Now, as we can see, the feature has been activated perfectly. Finally, it remains how to move between pages while maintaining consistency in dashboards. Duplicate the Sheet tab three times, and set a name for each. Now all you have to do is replace the data for each educational stage, and change the layout of the buttons at the top right according to the page you have chosen. See you in the next video.